But if you wanted to overthrow a small country, you know, take a small, take yeah. a small London crew over. You only need six men to take over a country, according to Javi Diaz. You could, you could overthrow a small country and, t- and, and, and take it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, but look, can I just add value to what we're talking please, about? Yeah, yeah, please. The, the, the whole idea of calling something street art for the sake of these, for these purposes, people, like, it isn't diluting what the end result is. What's really important that stay switched on to this because if your favourite, you know, promoter of graph that you know is hardcore motherfucker but he's doing something that he's deeming his street art, it's not because it's street art. No. It's not because it's street art. It's because it's what it's leveraging. It's leveraging. You've got to leverage that shit. Graffiti's got to be illegal. Yeah. If it's not illegal, it's either aerosol art or it's street art. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Killer, killer, oh, 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 podcast. Killer, killer, official dot com. Street culture TV. Instagram UK frontline. Beatbox created. Killer, killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer, killer podcast. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. one of those. Well, <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Let's have some of this, ladies and gentlemen. Killer Keller podcast live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be. You don't want to be anywhere else. This is something I repeat frequently, along with sharing, caring, subscribing, tell a friend to tell a friend. We're not doing it for ourselves. We're doing it for sporting art. We're doing it for the attitude and the lifestyle that you love. And we purvey. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars. It's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear from streets to stage. Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. Big shout out to anyone who's got the Television app. You know what you do. Free download, iPhone, Android for your street culture sports. I'll keep you out of trouble for a couple of hours. Uh, inside the house, Northampton represent part of TDS crew, but also a proprietor of the handsomely fitting Wall Games, uh, which is seen as a lot of you lot joining in and all the fun and activities up there. This is the CEO, the man behind it. He goes by the name Graffiti Right, of course, Loki inside the place. My guy. <laughs> How My are you? Pleased to meet you. Yeah. All good, yes. I'm perfect, man. All good. I'm having fun. <sighs> Navigating through, you know, Protests on the train, striking, and that you, you you made it down. I love when people come down. Sharpen my elbows, ready for it. I've come straight through it. <laughs> yes, come through, come through. <laughs> yeah. um, it's funny, man. Like when when we look at uh, the lifestyle of graffiti writers and uh, and the options of where things can go for for our, for ourselves, man. Not just graph, but creatives in general. I have to tip my hat to people that put their money where their mouth is, uh, put their assets into play and create events like all games, man. I'll, I'll put money into that, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, thank you, man. That, that, that's, that's really appreciated. I mean, it's, it's always been a labour of love. Yeah. Um, and it's been gutting that we couldn't have done it this year, um, just due to the, the challenges with getting the council to agree sufficient space, because last year was so good. Mm. You know, we built it from a very small, humble beginnings... Um, I say we because it's not me on my own. You know, I had the idea and I sort of fronted, you know, the council and the arrangements and so forth to get things moving. But reality is all the hard work was done by my crew. Right or die. Yes, yes. W-I-D. Right or die, see? Right or die. Lingo. I mean, there are other, you know, um, different different acronyms we use for it, but that's the main one. Mm. Um, and so, you know, Northampton-based crew, all different types of styles and writers... Um, you know, big shout to Moe's. Hub type Moe's. Hub type Moe's and who could not have done it, you know, and all the boys, Pens, um, Fenner, Coro, you know, um, you know, uh, I'm going to have to miss, I'll, I'll come back to the names. It's all right, it's all right, we'll pick them up later if you do. Yeah, 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 but, but basically, right, right, right or Die Crew um, just basically pulled that together and, and helped put together something that was built around love. Yeah. Love of the simple act of painting. Yeah. Bringing people together yeah. and having fun, yeah. Yeah. and the byproduct of that was we left a footprint of artwork, mm. which was then enjoyed by the, the, the you know the public. It really was, yeah. And and then you know the, the the give back part of it, which is to sell off the artwork, sell the magazine, sell T shirts to raise money for the Hope Centre. Which, for those that don't know, the Hope Centre is a homeless charity that works in the centre of Northampton, and they operate services for the people that live in and around the areas that we paint. Wow, that's awesome. So the whole thing ties nicely in together in terms of, you know, it's yeah. co- full community benefit, big payback, and, and everybody gets something out of it, right? The mm. artists get something out of it. 
The public gets something out of it. The community gets something out of it. Northampton got a real shot in the arm. From my perspective, mm -hmm. in terms of pride, you know, I've been there for more than half my life. Um, things have changed a little now. I've got, I've got some, I've got some seaside action going on as well as a bit over here as well. Okay. So, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you about that later. But basically, you know, my life has been around trying to, you know, enjoy what's good about Northampton, and there's not been very much to enjoy about it. You know, mm -hmm. it's a Middle England town, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, deprived in some areas. It's never had much investment. It's seen a lack of vision mm -hmm. in a lot of areas, and uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of other towns like that that you could you could put in that category. But there's not been much going on. Well, and when so, you've got when you've got like a category that does, you know, like you say, there are other towns and cities that mirror that. Well, if you yeah. take all games as a, an experiment in itself for what can we achieve and then, then you've got yourself a... It's a template. Yeah. It's a, it's a template and a blueprint for people to do that in, a, in other towns. And, I, you know, I've, I've, I've seen other events spring up and more power to them. You know, that's what, we, well, that's what we should be doing up and down the UK is giving opportunities, from my perspective, to UK writers and artists. Mm. I mean, it's great to bring in overseas and so forth for the big events, but... Wall Games has always been for me and for the team about doing something for us. For, and, mm. you know, I know that's the, the classic graffiti cliche, right? The Royal Us. The Royal Us, but even more local than the mm. Royal Us, right? We're talking about the UK and the UK scene. So we want to celebrate that. And, and that's what we've tried to champion. So whenever we've put the events together, there's been a sort of theme park element to it. So even the maps we do have got a kind of like, I don't know, you, you probably haven't seen it, but we, we did maps that look a bit like, you know, these sort of mum and pop um, theme parks where it's got like teddies and so forth, like, you know, around the event with a train and that. And the way we laid it out was we put representation of all the areas of the country. So we'd have Birmingham in an area, we'd have Nottingham in an area, mm -hmm. Leicester in an area, London. Mm -mm. And we try and bring those areas together and mix it up so that people get to meet each other and network and, and connections have been made. About the connections in, once you get out of Zone 7, you know, into Zone 7, sorry, and out of London, the connectivity is... I mean, it's, 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 it is, it's, they're fault lines, aren't they? They're fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, Close people are. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've got like, it's almost like, um, you know, a travelling community. We've got, you know, we've got sisters and brothers all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, they're all sort of, you know, but, but, but that's but, but also been something that's nice about the event. So, yeah, I mean, it's hugely proud of it. I mean, mm. we, we've done, over the last four years, not, not, la not this year, but the, the, the previous four years, we, we put it on during COVID. That's, yeah, that's... <laughs> Good luck. Right, we got two. We got two hundred people together during COVID. Yeah. Right, despite all the restrictions, um, we had to flip it and make it look like we were a voluntary organisation, and everyone was volunteers with two metres apart. It caused trouble. We had yeah. to like, we had to split people up so that you know we had gap, bigger gaps so that yeah. the event was spaced over a couple of days. But we made it work. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. we made it work. And so you know, we went from the first year of about one hundred and seventy-five writers painting together. Next year, I went up to about sort of 180, 190. Year three was about 220. Mm. And then last year, we did the biggest we've done, and it was just it was just phenomenal. We, we, we had the best time. We did the... The weekend was f fantastic. And then we culminated with the, uh, the the main sort of music event in the evening, which was at the Roman. And we had um, a load of local MCs. And we had the Lay It Down crew put on a host of local MCs, like, you know, uh, Leo, HQ, DB... You know, and, and some of the other guys um, that then led up to um, Naps and all them guys led up to um, basically Dirty Dyke, who then yeah. came up with Sammy B-side and did the headline show, and it was banging. Oh, don't doubt that. Big up, Dyke, yeah. Big up, Dyke. I mean, he absolutely killed it. What a G. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, that whole weekend, that, that was one of the best weekends of my life. Obviously, I've had three kids. Those were good weekends. I've been married. <laughs> Um, that was, that was a great weekend. weekend. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a brilliant week. That was <laughs> that, that was the that best, was best weekend, weekend you ever had. Yeah, that was the best right, weekend yeah, of my yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But War, War Games was nearly one yeah. of the best weekends of my life. Nearly, not nearly. quite. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so good, man. It was so yeah. good. You had some legends in the place as well. I, I mean, like this is. In the, fact, let's let's get this. this well, this is the magazine from the yes. year before. But over the four over the four years, yeah, we we we've been privileged and blessed enough to be supported by some real. Real legends in the game. Oh, shit. Look, hold on. Straight in with Corza and Merck in the magazine. Wow, this is a sought-after magazine, ain't it? So, yeah, these are rarer than Rocky Horse Permafried. So this is for wow. you, Mum. So Thank we, you. So on that page you're talking about, we had Score, Enigma, yeah. Cause, Merck, and they did the car part. And that's still Hope, there. Hope was there. Hope, Decay, yeah. Decay, Spat. Well, I'm just... I'll put them... We'll run the names. Okay, off. so yeah. you're talking about the who's who, basically, of yeah, graph. For, for me, is. anyway, I mean, like, you know, not everyone, but, like, for me, like, some really good representation, some amazing writers. Yeah, Reeves. Um, 
Yeah, you're talking about some big no. names. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. This is my brother Penn's here from Wad. Come on, This Penn's. is the Wad section round here. Yeah, this hold, is all us lot. Yeah, hold yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah, Siren. Yeah. Pick up Siren. Siren, yeah, yeah. That's Siren, man. Like, I had a conversation with him on the podcast. If you didn't check the podcast, go check it out. But Siren, Fuck. proper... G- so Siren done my big... Northampton, G. Mate, all power to that man. He's, yeah. he's done a full back piece for me here. So Really? Yeah, so so he so he's in Wad, but he's, he's also sacred lettering, obviously. He's, yeah. But he's so. in, you know, he's in, you know, X-Men, he's in... Old yeah. team crews, like legend in the serious, game. Serious, John. Oh, yeah, mate, serious what a privilege to be to be associated with that man. And and the the, the tattoo he's done on my back is. Pff, I'm seeing bats. I'm seeing kiosks. I'm seeing big names. Yeah, man. big big and, names. And all super talented. Yeah. Um, Incredible. Yeah, all amazing oh. people, Ram. Man, all amazing people. And this, you can't get this magazine anymore. Not anymore. Amazing this gentlemen. is well. Kel's there might it, there might be a couple somewhere, but I've got to dig them out. They're in storage at the moment. I yeah, think. You wouldn't want a man digging out. No, know? this is a special one for him. So thank you, my brother. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, and I guess that uh, you know when you've got a level like that that brings such attention, kudos, um, quality, and value to the area. What do the locals think of it? Like, I mean, this is almost so, like a, a, it's, it's like a landing of some sort of starship. That's like one minute is. <laughs> Black and white. Next minute, it's full color. This is true. This is true. And you know, a lot of a lot of people they didn't really see it because it wasn't super visible in the early years. Because where we pocketed it, it was all in the subways or it was out of common sight. So unless you went, unless you went and actually sort it out, or you were going through those mm. areas, which are which are pretty ropey. I yeah. mean, we, we've had some we've had some horrible things down go on down there, which have been really difficult to deal with. But we've helped transform that space. Mm. Over the last four years, into into a habitable location that people wanted, to, right? And so, you know, people were taking their kids to view the art, taking photos. There were little tours going on. You know, yeah. I'll we'll talk about how this has started to grind to a halt with the latest sort of issues that we're having in terms of um, just the general economy and the and the attitude of the you know conservative governments and things like that. I mean, I'm not a political man, but you know, no, I just thought I'd throw that extra. <laughs> I mean, driving right intention there, but no, okay. We won't well, the one thing we can say is fuck the Tories, <laughs> um, <laughs> right? I mean, I'm not going to get political, but that's the one thing I will say. Right. Um, but let, I mean, let the, the issues we've got is not that's not the issue that we've got in terms of putting war games on. Let's be clear. Um, the, the council in in in, in Northampton is is a mix between it's changed, right? So it, it, I won't get into the differences of it. But four years ago, it was a single council that went broke, and the count and the government had to bail them out, and they did it by splitting, I think, into two councils, which at the moment are a bit like chalk and cheese. Okay. So trying to get anything done is like wading through treacle. So the intentions are different and then the, the opinions differ on whether something is creative or... Just to get last year going, to give you some idea, Yeah. I nearly had a nervous breakdown. What? I put a few thousand pounds of my own money into yeah. it. I had to get money out of the council. I had to start a limited company with two of the guys, uh, you know, with the, with the team that we've got in place yeah. now. So Mark's gear, funk by funk, legendary Northampton DJ, Leon from Lay It Down, yeah, yeah, yeah. legendary dude, and 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 basically putting that together to basically even get the funding released because the amount that they were, the council were giving us was too big to put into, you know, give to the supply, which was Al Fresco helping us sponsor all the paint. Yeah. By the way, big oh, Al Fresco. Can, yeah. can I can I just pause quickly? Um, yeah. I wanted to dedicate um, this interview to Jackie from Al Fresco, who we lost a couple of years ago. Oh, oh, right. Rest in peace, Jackie. Yeah, man. Jackie Absolutely. from Al Fresco. What a lovely lady. Yeah. She was like graffiti mum to a lot of us. Oh, fuck. Well, we're rest in peace. Absolutely. And she was at the first couple of war games helping supply your paint. So if you picked up your paint and you were one of those early artists, sorry, you would have. Um, yeah. You'd have met her. She was a lovely lady. Oh, bless her. Yeah, yeah very much so. Rest in peace. Without question. And big up Al Fresco. Dave, 100%. Uh, yeah. Uh, so let's let's just talk about Dave from out. What a yeah. legend! So yeah. Dave has fully backed this event yeah. since its inception, yeah. and just given us full support. So you know, through that and through the help from the council, giving us yeah. some basic funding. Like the first year, the council gave us five hundred quid, <laughs> so we put it all on paint. We gave it all to Dave. He backed it. He doubled it, and we got fucking great. There what, you go. What a boy, right? That's where I do it because five hundred quid when you got this caliber. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a, you know just throw the throw that in the wind. See, I, I think like, <laughs> do that banana in Albert Hall and see what happens. I've had five hundred quid weekends, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right on my own, <laughs> let alone with two, you know two hundred people there. <laughs> and so you know, so five hundred quid's nothing. It's peanuts, and that the council, you know, when they gave us five hundred quid, they expected to get two people turn up. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. a marching, you know, an army yeah. came through, and then they gave us seven hundred fifty quid the second year. We did the same thing again, smashed it all on paint. And then the third year, we got about a couple of grand. And that year, we put a couple of people in hotels, mm. 
you know, we gave a couple of people travel budget, we gave some people more pain. Mm. And and we kind of had to do that with, you know, some of the artists that we had. We couldn't do it for everyone. But then last year, everybody got paint. Those who needed hotels, we tried to sort hotels for. You know, we we, we had enough money to basically throw at it. Fuck yeah. And and Dave again, all party yeah, at yeah. Alfresco. If you're not shopping at Alfresco, obviously there are amazing other shops in the country. Um Alfresco have been a huge <laughs> supporter of wall games. Um, and, and that's without question. So mm-hmm. big thank there you, Dave. You go. There yeah. it is. There it is. Salute. Salute, um, my G. Yeah, you you set that that bar high, and see you don't you don't want it to come down. Well, no, that's, and that's the problem. So now we've sort of created ourselves a bit of an issue because what we've tried to do is create an authentic writer festival. You know, writer of based event, but. Because of the way you have to justify these things to get money, mm. you have to call it murals and you have to call it street art. Yeah. And the challenge when with that... When you come to mention it, I've heard of that. It's, it's a street art phenomenon. I mean, it's... A... <laughs> it's, a, it's the blanket term to release money right these yeah, days. Yeah, it's so, but if so you right. want to do a graffiti event, they don't want to know. It doesn't sound threatening. It's, not, it's unthreatening, isn't it? It sounds threatening. And also, it goes against the current policies, right? Rishi Sunak's not a big fan of graffiti. He banned yeah. it, didn't he? Great. Yeah. I do. Zero tolerance. Yeah. Yeah. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance, you see. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so we use these Jedi mind tricks to, you know, get certain protocol ticked and things over the finishing line. I think as writers generally, and I'm fairly new to the game, but in general terms, you know, writers in general are probably some of the most creative, ingenious yeah. and get stuff done. Like if you wanted to overthrow a small country, you know, take a small take yeah. a small London cry over. You only need six men to take over a country, according to Javi Diaz. You could, you could overthrow a small country and, t- and, and, and take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Um, but look, can I just add value to what we're talking please, about? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the whole idea of calling something street art for the sake of these, for these purposes, people, like, it isn't diluting what the end result is. What's really important that... Stay switched on to this because if your favourite, you know, promoter of graph that you know is hardcore motherfucker, but he's doing something that he's deeming his street art, it's not because it's street art. No, it's not because it's street art. It's because it's what it's leveraging. It's leveraging. You've got to leverage that shit. You've got to play the game. Yeah, and it, and and if okay, you might get like one or two street eyes, but but by and large, we know these these scenes don't often work together. It's it's if it's graph, it's graph. Simple as that, isn't it? I mean, this is true. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a broad spectrum graph, right? It is, isn't it? For me, like, graffiti has got to be illegal. Yeah. If it's not illegal, it's either aerosol art or it's street art. Really, yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 yeah. So, I think you've, you know, what I've seen at these events is that street artists who paint legal walls or, you know, paint what you deem as street art murals, you know, faces, characters, pictures, rather than mm. letters coexisted quite comfortably like with with the writers and the whole thing was a nice you know mix like mm-hmm. no one was being like there was no kind of like snobbery mm-hmm. if you like but that's beautiful that's... It, it, it was beautiful yeah. right it, it really was and i think that's because it was built out of love and we and we evened it right we said you know everyone gets a similar space we didn't treat anybody differently you could have been 20 years in the game and been in graphotism or two years in the game but you're local yeah and we'd have put you next to it you know yeah. So we mixed it up like I that. I love that. That's so fucking So cool. important. And, yeah. and and that was what it was about. It's like we're all equal, yeah. right? No one's better than anyone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. And we're all in it together. Mm. So when you come up with them concepts, right, you know, just breaking it down to that, below the usual annoyances and foibles and headaches and, you know, so called rules and, and, and issues that graph can create and, mm. you know, mental health issues and all that, yeah. if you break it down to what it's about, which is we all love painting. We all want to get together and have fun, listen to music mm. and be happy. Mm. And that's really what it was about. A small window of time where that's you just... It. Yeah, yeah. And it, that's beautiful. That energy in that, that event must have just been sweet as fuck, bro. Mate, it was, it was, it was great. And, and everybody that's come to it have, 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 has been gutted that it's not on this year. And if we can make it work, I promise you, we will make it happen, you know, wh- whatever we can do to make that work. But it has to be the right space. Yeah. You know, we, we did... A cert, like, we were offered... I'll give you some idea. We were offered a, less than a quarter of the space that we got last year for the event space, and it was in an area that we couldn't manage properly. It was in the subways. It was going to be such a concession to make it. You know, people have turned up and go, well, "What is this?" Mm. So what's the point? Yeah, why, yeah. why, why take, why push something that is just going to be a lesser? 
Yeah. A lesser result or a lesser product. I, I wouldn't stand for that. And so I if, you, if you are part of the council in Northampton, you, you're here, you're here, this is, we're in London here. This do is looking happening. your bit. Yeah. Your community part. needs you. Yeah, but do, 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 do the thing. Um, I've got a, an amazing uh, affliction with... Um, <laughs> I've got love for... Northampton. It's one of the first places where I have you. Yeah, bro. Yeah, ever. <laughs> come but, on, yeah, come, come on, on man. Was it, there was the, the, what's the name of the venue that was round? Roman. Oh, uh, oh, uh, um, top of the town. Top of the town. You remember top of the town? Yeah, of course, Ralph. Jesus. <laughs> um, Do you know what happened to that? Then? No, I it became a rat pit. It got derelict, and then oh, it, they fuck. found they found like a grow room in it with like three hundred plants. And, really? Oh, it's, yeah. It's, it, it got it got seedy, but it was that big plastic. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like it, it sort of looked like a Fisher Prize building. I used it? to love that spot. And I can't I remember, believe you remember that. Yeah, man. I remember doing shows in Northampton so vividly. No and, and way. And I remember the graffiti. The graffiti was always, in my mind, a part of Northampton. It's, it's been, it's been a uh, look. It, there's been a scene in graf- a, a, a hardcore graffiti scene in Northampton for for way longer than I've been involved. Right. So don't think I'm anything. Give me some names. Give me some legends from. from some legends. Yeah, okay. All right. In no particular order. And if you if you're not mentioned, then it doesn't mean you're not loved. Okay. So I'll, yeah. So I'll call out some legends from from Northampton that definitely come before yeah. me and definitely. I look up to so um, uh, you know so you've got people like Dazer <laughs> right you can't deny his skills and, and his legacy Perk Snur you can't you can't take anything away from those two they absolutely smashed it in fact they're part of the reason that I got inspired to get into graffiti um, then you're going back into like um, Sham Stuz Halfs you can't talk about Northampton without mentioning halves. These names, fucking said. Siren, Siren, we got Siren. Siren, yeah. of course. Yeah. Fuck, of course. OG Siren. Um, then you've got CFC. You've got the crew. That, you know, I've been inducted into CFC. Luckily, and honoured enough to be inducted into CFC along with some good names. So you've got, you know, Cyrus, Sir, uh, um, Pun. Um, sit slash syrup. You've got uh, owl. What a fucking g owl. Wow. He's my guy. Some, some, and then you've got Mex. Um, you won't know any of these boys. But I am are. just no. I'm, listen, this this the, is what girl, it's all about. Sending up the flyers. Sending up the flyers. So so, so so CFC. Get, get on Google and, and, and lock them out. And then you you know if you think about NFA, which is a crew now that's you know broader than Northampton, but that started in Northampton. You know you've got Tars, um, and some of those early and half started that that crew early early doors, and then that. That then grew out into what it is now. So Northampton's been a hotbed for graffiti. Yeah, you know, bruv. Think and, of and, names as that. And, ra- and, and Rain Man. How can I fuck yeah, it, fuck, forget Rain Man? Rain Man, come on. Like, <laughs> I mean, look, uh, yeah, but, pfft, so there you go. So, oh. and I've probably missed some. I've probably missed somebody else. But look, uh, and then you got Ruolo, you know, new school guy, you know, from mm. from Slovakia. What a what a G. So. You Northampton's know, got it popping, man. Northampton has got it popping, and this is the thing. This is what we tried to celebrate with War Games: is to go look. No one's paying attention to us. No, 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 no. So no. I can fucking kick the door open and go, look, this is what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And that's where we sort of invite people up. And then as a result of that, I think people start to look at us a little differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Northampton's renowned for being, weirdly, for, from a London perspective, uh, a stag weekend destination. Is it? Yeah, because it's cheap. It's an hour on the train. You've got a load of shit bars up and down the, like, you know, and, and you know, like, Vodka Revolution and all that, like, and Yates yeah. is all that type rubbish um and and that's what they're doing they're coming up there's this like a strip it's like a cheap black it's like a really cheap blackpool i don't even know why i'm comparing sounds it to blackpool it's like great. black it's like sounds black, great it's like blackpool <laughs> without the lights and more crackheads wow that's <laughs> awesome sign me up man yeah so but yeah it, it well it used to be i wouldn't i wouldn't get excited but that but that's the, but that's 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 what northampton's really known for apart from that i mean it's 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 struggled to to find an identity really or find anything to be culturally happy or proud about mm. um Obviously, I'm going to be biased and say that this has been good for Northampton because I think it has, and I've seen what's gone on in Northampton. I, you know, I remember going to see London Posse mm. in '93 or two at the Romander in the small room with like ten people. Really? And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like it's London Posse. It's like I do remember a great audience at Northampton. They got the university too, right? They got the university, but it doesn't really. There's not really like a no, student no. union that no. general people can go and mix in. It's all. That's butt. a shame. That is. Yeah, it's it's a shame, and it's always been culturally challenged like Northampton. There were some good venues. A couple of those have gone, like Top of the Town you mentioned. Soundhouse used to be good. Mm. That's gone now. If you go back, Ritzy was a big sort of glammy club. Um, the ex- uh, was the Exchange next to it? Ritzy, something next to it? Can't remember. But it's, it's lost a lot of the venues, Mum. Mm. And it's like struggled as a town now. So there's very, I mean, 
it's, there's very little to get excited about. There's pockets of stuff mm. going on. Like there is something being done at the moment. There's a real movement on the grime level mm-hmm. being done by Lay It Down, who do the music side of this with Funk by Funk, uh, Le- oh, yeah. DJ okay. Markski yeah. for, the, for this for us. And they've got a collection of MCs and they meet like once a week and they've got like a little pocket in a scene going and they're doing regular promotion. Leon from Lay It Down is I'm an absolute... He, yeah. he's, he's one of the people that's holding it down from the Northampton scene. If it wasn't for people like that, you would not have a scene Northampton. So you need to respect that man. And give him his props. Who's the who's the rapper that's from Northampton? Big guy. Slow tie. Slow tie. Yes. Is he is he um is he uh, celebrated or is he uh, you know because you know you get you get to pick people that um throw throw cast to their uh, their history and their foundation. I don't get the impression he's ever done that. No, he's pro, he's been pro Northampton. He, like he's been like he's got on his album. He talks about like King's Heath. He talks about areas that he's grown up in, a specific like areas yeah. and, he, and all his lyrics that you can hear like. You I know, like that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, and it's cool, like, and that's good because he's put, he's put Northampton on the map. Yeah, he has, yeah. You know, but, but he's, you know, and he's got bigger than Northampton now. Yeah, yeah. So he's outgrown us. In an Ocean Wisdom kind of way. Uh, yeah, oh, Ocean Wisdom, what dude, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, I think, we've, I, think, I think he's now, you know, LA level and kind of like, you yeah, know, he's still yeah. got family and he still comes back, but I don't see him, I don't, well. You don't frequent like he may have done a I t- years I t- I'll tell you who I am repping at the moment Go from on. Northampton. Uh, for fuck's sake, why though? Do you know her? <laughs> talk Do you know to her? Me. Go on, talk to she me. She is a fiery little character. Really? That girl is making waves at the moment. BBC One Extra, she was at Glastonbury this year. Let's get it! Come on, girl. So I did a mural for her in Northampton. Um, I'll show you a photo later. But nice. That, that mural was kind of just sort of showcase and push her forward. And then, of course, you've got... So she's great. Uh, you know, she's worked with some great people. Mm. She's, you know, if you have a look at her catalogue, for fuck's sake, why though? FFS, mm. why though? Check that. Love and then DB. Who's in, you know, one of my close close boys, D B D E B E. He's another MC in Northampton that's that's really sort of he, he used to do stuff with Slow Tie back in the day. Right. So he's in he's in that sort of yeah, yeah, and he's nice. serious dude, serious dude. I love that seat. I I kind of Okay. I put Northampton in the same kind of uh catchment as in people location wise as maybe Peterborough. Yeah. Derby. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. These are Reading. All, uh that, that has this kind of catchment out surrounding areas. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. What do you mean what do you mean like I'm talking from a from a cultural point of view in that, you know Hub, you mean? Yeah, hub. Yeah, yeah, great yeah, graph yeah, scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great incubation place for like yeah. new artists like you mentioned the yeah. slow Leicester's title. a great one. Leicester's another great one. Except Leicester's always had that I don't know, big up SS and UMC. I've always had the impression that, you know, Leicester has the upper hand, has an upper a certain upper hand to it. Where where um where these scenes, like these locations, don't get the shot, don't get the love. Do you know what I mean? Don't get the don't get the flag pageantry of maybe like a Leicester or a, a Ma- Manchester or a Nottingham. That's it, yeah. I mean, Leicester... Do you get where I'm coming from? 100%, yeah, yeah, because they're, well, they're cities. I mean, and the, and the difference is you get city funding as a budget. Right, okay. Right, Northampton gets town funding. Which goes back to the whole principle of putting on events and how hard it can be. Right, and Northampton gets town funding, yet it's a nearly, it's sort of, it's about city size. That's what I'm saying, see? And so it's underfunded, and that's yeah. why it's deprived. Like, if you go, if you go in the pocket centre of Northampton, there's a couple of nice areas, but you go around the outskirts of Northampton... And like it's just an ever decreasing circle of depression, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and the problem with it is it's never had an injection of cash enough to be able to back it as a city, which is yeah. what it needs. Yeah. It's had a nice university put in, has it had anything culturally done to it? Mm-hmm. As it, mm-hmm. so these are the sort of challenges that Northampton's got. Like Leicester's great. Shout out to um, to, to Graf HQ and the whole yes. bring the paint team. Bring the paint. Come that on, that man. that or, 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 oddly enough is is what inspired me to do War Games because it was so good. Yeah. And it was so well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was so authentic that it blew me away. I got invited to paint the first one and, and it was just such a such an inspirational event. So that if 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 you want to know where it came from, that was where the inspiration for War Games came from, was to try and do something as good. No, sorry, not as good because it'd never be as good. Something like mm. bring the paint on a smaller scale. That's what we're trying to do. See? There yeah, you yeah. go. Yeah. Um your graph. As a writer yourself, yeah. TDS, no, no, uh, no smaller than wow. I mean, that... um, and what you brought to me, to yeah. Ta- what you brought to the table for those that you are listening and not watching, get your peepers on this. Um, <laughs> it's now looking bonkers. I've never seen anything like it. I and if you are coherent with the, the screen, you're seeing that this thing is shining like a diamond. <laughs> Madness. 
Thank you so much, brother. No worries, brother. I mean, it's very it, unique. It's isn't a it? pleasure. Yeah, it's, well, it's a technique that I've sort of been working on for the last few years, and to be honest, I get a lot of questions on how to do it, and I've never, I've never given away the secret. And so, you say to them, "Mind your business," right? Well, you know, a magician never gave away his tricks. That's does right. I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if somebody works it out, well, you know, all power to you. But I'm not giving it away. So if somebody wants to try and have a go, you know, have a go, but. I'm not a sandwich, don't bite me. It's <laughs> a sign of the door. <laughs> um, it's yeah. fucking great. Thank you, man. So how long have you been painting for? Um, so not as long as you might think. I'm pretty new to the game. I'm, not, I'm old in the tooth, so I'm that age, like you would expect me to have been like, around for a while, but right. I, didn't, I didn't start painting until my mid-30s. That was fucking great. Yeah, so I was making music before that. Huh. Okay. So, you know, I've been into hip-hop ever since, you know, I grew up in, you know, I was at college, I was 16 in 92, 93, 94. Wu Tang, Beat Nuts, you know, DITC. This is my legacy. Yeah, this is where I come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I came out of college. I was in I was in bands. I can't rap, unfortunately. I wish I could. I can sing a bit. So <laughs> I was in bands, but I was making beats on the side. So I was like, I was heavily music. I came I used, when I was at school. I used to be a jazz drummer. Um, you know, so I've you got, play drums. Yeah, yeah, I play drums. Fucking great. Play drums, drum machine, a um, little bit of trumpet. Um, bit of piano, um, but but I sort of I sort of like got really disillusioned with music when when the music industry kicked me two ways down the stairs. That can happen, yeah. Well, it does, doesn't it? This All is what happens. Yeah, yeah. There's so many artists that this happens to, yeah, right? Yeah, but yeah. you know, um, so I sort of felt a bit lost. Mm. And then you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a businessman, a bit of a hustler. So I was looking at doing some sort of clothing business. I was working with artists. And at some point in that discussion, like when I was talking to some of these guys and they were telling me about how they'd do it and I was looking at different types of artwork, I was like, mm, give me a go on that. So, so, I, so, I, so I picked some cans and it was a wrap. Yeah. yeah. It was just like that. I was like hooked. What is it about this graft thing, bruv? Like, it's a it's, it's crazy thing. It's borderline addiction slash obsession, isn't it? it is, yeah. You wake up in the morning and your head's f full like a well with ideas and wanting to do it and just... I oh, know exactly what you mean. There's so many different things to, to, to aspects to it. And it's so broad. Like, you know, like you can be, you know, you might be more of a tagger and bomber and you might just like mooching or going out on like, you know, uh, you know, just long walks and just doing it as part of that. Or you might be, you know, a hardcore panel writer and your whole life is about, you know, security and privacy mm. and like maintaining a low profile and doing it the right way. And, and you know, depends where you are in that spectrum. Like for mm. me, I've got to manage my risk. Like I'm, I'm running a couple of businesses. Mm. I've got three kids. You know, I've got a couple of nice houses. I'm not trying to lose any of that shit. <laughs> and I've got a visa, motherfucker. I ain't doing none of that. I'm with you, right? I'm with you. I'm, I'm too old to be <laughs> shitting my time away in a room worrying about what I could be doing, <laughs> right? And I'm too fat to run. <laughs> you did, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. You're so yeah, saying. That's a, that's a, so as much talk. as. So as much as I'd love to be, you know, um, you know, properly on it and active, yeah. I can't. I can only go so far, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, totally. I am who I am. We recognise our own mortality as well. Like, you know, those those fun rides, the the Blackpool Pleasure Beach rides. They they're great when you're like in your teens, but I guess you, it's, it's a young man's sport, isn't it, Greg? It, well, it is, and like you know, I'm not saying I don't still take the odd risk, but I don't take regular risks enough for it to be something that I'm really concerned about. I'm not on anyone's radar. Mm. I don't think. Mm -hmm. I don't. You know, I'm not. I'm not um, causing any, you know, major campaigns that anyone's like sticking me in some sort mm. of like budget to go and look after. Mm. I'm just like doing my little thing, yeah. weaving around, keeping my nose clean, talking to the people I like talking to, doing what I want to do, and that is enough for me. Mm -hmm. I love the culture. I'm trying to. You know, put my my little stroke on the page if I can, yeah. but it's a little stroke. It's nowhere near as big of the strokes as some of the dons you've had in here. Oh, but come on, it's it's a, it's, a, I mean, it's, it's a collective it's a collective effort. I of... mean, come on, you've had some you've had you've had some absolute dons in here, man. And let's be honest, like the scene is full of people that are incredible, and there's so much so much talent in the UK. Mm, right there now. is, yeah, and, there and, is. and you've and you've, you've 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 interviewed some a brilliant ones. So you know, I've, I've watched a lot of your podcasts with Bless a lot, you. Thank and you. learned a lot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a lot to be said for for learning and not talking about it. Yeah, very much so. It's funny how much of a closed door it is. I mean, it's not to everyone's liking, you know. I mean, if you if you love it and chat us out, you know, spread the word. But overall, um, the feedback on this. Um, I just get a huge, immense of satisfaction knowing that someone up north in Northampton is checking it, and 
you wanted to come check out this. You know, I'm humbled. Like, no, hey, it, mate, the honour is absolutely mine. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I can't believe you asked me. In fact, I, I, you know, um, Ke- Kesto. Who, yeah, big up Kesto. Kesto and General. Calm. Kesto and Calm. Let's, yeah, be, let's, be, let's so. be talking yes, about these yes, guys in yes. HSG. Let's just get into this. Let's get into this. Hurt So get Good the Movement, room. the Cardiff shop. Um, you need to go and check that shop because yeah. they are now starting to stock uh, a Chubway train. Can we talk about this? Yeah, because I've just seen this. So elaborate a bit more. So, so the Chubway train is a little... So I like creating things. Yeah. So I like, you know, I'll do these boards. I'll make little, you know, I just like doing stuff. Sometimes I'll get a little spark and I'm like, oh, I'm going to make that. And so it just happened one day. I was like, I'm going to make a train. And so... Make a full train? Yeah. Big, big, real train? It's a bench you can sit on. It's a storage box. It's, right. a, it's a stash box. If you go to go go to the Instagram, go to Chubway underscore trains or www.chubway.com, you'll see exactly what I mean. But basically, it's a, a solid piece of furniture. But it, what it allows you to do is you can store your paint in it, you can store records in it, you can store your pens in it, you can store things in it, you can store... right, And then you slide these panels in the front. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selling... We're going to be giving the, the option for artists to sell their panels like they do their tube maps or canvases via our shop and they can have a... Uh, what we're going to do is create a, a fair trade mechanism where they take all the profit and we just take a commission fee on the transaction. Yeah, so yeah, less, yeah. like a, you know, like 100% less than eBay. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, sorry, like 10% less than eBay yeah, yeah. Or, or wherever we can get it to a point where it makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. But the idea is to give the ability for artists to do this. So I've given you a couple of boards to have a go yourself. That's what, that... That's what they're for, bruv. It all comes together. I love it. So basically, <laughs> the idea is, whether you're an artist yourself and you want to customise these trains, you can buy one and then you can buy the panels and you can do a new board and just swap them in and out. Just like a train? Just, or a... Well, not just like a train, obviously. This no, but is they're a... panels and you move them and they're in the position of where they would be it on a train. It looks like a chubby subway train. I am. Chubway. N- I was not ready for this. That's incredible. It's a product that doesn't exist yet. There are similar products out there, but they're on a much smaller scale, right? So you get these... Like one in ten scale trains that are like yay big, and I can see the the you know I've, I've had a go on them. They're, they're all right, like they're good, but I like to go a bit bigger when I'm drawing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like you know, I like to I like to do spray on it, and I like to you know I like to mix it up a bit and, and do something a bit more like a canvas level. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. so you want a bigger surface, and that's what this allows you to do. So if you haven't got to turn this big train on its side. You can just slot these in. That's incredible. Hopefully. Yeah. I want one. <laughs> well, that's, awesome. well, that's the idea, right? So, so basically, Hurt So Good, Calm and Kesto are stocking these trains now. And so we've just taken an order for three today. We haven't really officially launched it, right? So I was yeah. waiting for this podcast to drop. And we're going to do a free competi- sorry, a competition Go to give it. away yeah. a free train. Fucking right. Okay. And the way you'll do that is we're going to ask you to do the usuals, right? Tag and share the post and tag three friends in it. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Something just to spread the word yeah, so that yeah, we can yeah. build them. Something you know. chilled. Yeah. Something chilled. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we are going to give away a train to whoever wins that at random. Um, and, and what we're trying to do is get people to, you know, to get on board. Start getting one, customising it. <laughs> and then, you know, so um, that's, that's the idea. So I'm super proud of the idea. I was, it's, it's something now that's taken a few years to, to bring to bear. <laughs> but I've got manufacturing sorted. We've got... Um, distribution sorted it's, it's ready to go we've got stock we just need people to come get them so get them while they're hot before they start getting what's the website again www.chubway.com c-h-u-b-w-a-y fucking great there you go so Chubway. that so that's my little sales pitch for this for this podcast mm. i mean but that's where this panel goes man so basically for so you know whether you mount it like as i say i'll get you some clips or you can stick it in your train um, at some, Stick it at, in the train. At some, at some point, we're going to be talking to, to Mr. Killer Kelly here about sponsorship. Yeah, there it is, my yeah. man. Yeah. Come on, son. I, I'm really excited to check this. I'm going straight onto the website. <laughs> Have a little look. Mate, I'm so excited Let's about Let's get it. a competition rolling. We'll definitely roll that. We'll send that one out. That's, oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be great, man, because it's, it's, it's something I'm really keen to push. Like, you know, I've never tried to abuse my position in the scene to make money off it because I don't feel that's my place to do. Mm. I've never really sold my stuff. I don't feel like I'm in a position to do that because I haven't earned my stripes yet. Yeah, I feel that. So, I know what you mean. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, this is something where I feel like, you know, this is something where, I, you know, 
in the nicest possible way, I'm getting old. I need to make a bit of coin. So, you know, yeah, yeah. let's have a trip to Turkey, people. Get, <laughs> let's, get these, let, let's get these trains out of the shelf. Whilst getting our teeth done. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I want to get a tan out there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been awesome having you on, my brother. It's been fantastic. Pleasure, man. Pleasure. We made it happen. Thank you so much. Oh, above Northampton, old tight. Come on. Come on, you know what it is. Uh, all the graph originals, people that have been coming on the podcast. Northampton most definitely is representing. Big shout out to all the names mentioned and furthermore, we hope to see you all very soon. War Games, Viva La War Games, uh, Killer Keller Podcast, Ally, in was out of fashion, all right? Tell a friend to tell a friend we're out on the ground. Uh, real talk, uh, stay lucky. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they. Does. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, nice one, Loki. No yeah. worries, brother. Take care of yourselves, people. Easy. So. Thank you, mum. <laughs> <laughs>